Smith is outside the Palm Beach County Courthouse with why a few tweets may end up causing a mistrial. Chris? Hey, good afternoon, Paul. You may not know this, but jurors are allowed to have cell phones in the courtroom. The thing is, they're supposed to be on silent. They're not supposed to be out. They're supposed to be put away, really, only for emergencies. But one local attorney says his case here inside the Palm Beach County Courthouse was derailed, claiming a jury not only had the phone out, but was tweeting from the jury box. You don't get drafted anymore. This is the one thing that our country asks of you, so we ask you to take it very seriously. The yeah, attorney Spencer Coven says two jurors did not take jury duty seriously during a trial in May. He claims they were tweeting about the trial, which was a settlement case involving the victim of a car crash. The two jurors complaining about how much they hated jury duty. I want to show you some of these tweets. One juror writing on Twitter, quote, taking a nap. And the attorney says that tweet was sent from the jury box of all places. That same juror also tweeting, we're told, quote, I wish I wasn't a U.S. citizen right now so he wouldn't have to serve on jury duty. And toward the end of the trial, tweeting, quote, everyone is so money hungry. When I went online and started looking at this, I was absolutely floored and shocked. If these cases are having to be retried again and again because jurors are violating court orders, then every dollar that goes back into that second trial is a waste. Now, this attorney says he ultimately wants a new trial because of this, but wants to start that process by bringing all six jurors in this case back into court for questioning, specifically the two said to be at fault. While the judge did not like this happening in her court courtroom, she says she wants to hear more arguments before making any decisions that next hearing scheduled for Friday morning. We're live in West Palm Beach. I'm Chris McGrath, WPBF 25 News.